I would say that I enjoy a good set of headphones. My go-to for my phone, or just like listening to music or streaming content on my phone, are my WH-1000 XM4s from Sony. And I really think that these things sound great. I bought these uh, a little bit ago. The noise canceling is good. The sound quality is good. You put a good EQ tune on them, and it's, I love them. For gaming, on the other hand, I like to use my G935s. I personally think these things sound pretty good. Uh, again, a nice EQ tune on them will make them sound even better. They're a little creaky, but for gaming, I really, I really do like these. I, I'm a kind of a big Logitech fan. I got their keyboard, their mouse. And the reason I bring all this up is because I have a new set of headphones today that are very different than any ones I've bought in the past. And that's because I 3D printed them, or at least the, uh, the non, the non electrical bits. This video is sponsored by Deepcool and their AK cooler line. The AK400 is a highly compatible CPU cooler featuring the classic four heat pipe design, unique fin matrix, and high performance FDB fan that delivers excellent heat dissipation and low noise levels. The AK400 is good up to 220 watts TDP and the AK400 comes in both white and black so you always know that it's going to match whatever build you have planned. However, if you need something with a bit more oomph, the AK620 might be just what you need. With two additional heat pipes, giving it six total, dual tower design and twin deep cool 120 millimeter fans, giving it 260 watts TDP of cooling performance. Oh, and the AK620, it also comes in white. So check the links in the description below to pick up your new deep cool AK series air cooler for your next build. Now these are the Anamame headphones from Vector Finesse. And this is very interesting. When they, when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out their headphones, as soon as I found out they were 3D printed, I had to check them out because I've never seen anything like that before. I've seen people print, you know, headphones, but never a kit that you could just buy. No. Now the Anamame headphones have many different tiers of, or different price point tiers. You could buy a fully assembled headphone or headset for 250 bucks, or you could buy the kit that I have here with the 50 millimeter drivers, all the soft and hard parts, electronics essentially, and the, and the files for about 150. You could just buy the, the files for 10 bucks and outsource everything else yourself, and they sell different parts and pieces online. So you could kind of piece build this thing any way you want, which is, which is really cool to me. But if you're buying these headphones, uh, you must like 3D printing. That's kind of who this is aimed at. If you have a 3D printer, these could be for you. Now the recommended material for these headphones is PETG and that's what I use. I use some red and I use also this, this like marble white. I really kind of like this type of material and that's the color I chose. You can do pretty much any color you want. You could also use PLA if you wanted to, but it's said that PETG is kind of the best choice. All the files are very easy to print. There is some interesting files, like part of the cone assembly is printed without walls, which is interesting. But it's not really something you have to worry about, especially if you're using like a Prusa or using Cura Slicer because the files come pre-loaded with the information for these slicer settings. So you really just got to drop them into Cura or Prusa Slicer. And that's pretty much it. It's everything printed very, very easily and came up relatively well. I mean, no complaints here. I'm really, I'm really interested to see how these sound because for example, my Sony headphones, I paid about $235 for these, which were on sale. They're actually like, normally like $348 and they sound good, but they're, they're kind of expensive. The G935s are about 127. And like I said, if you bought this kit, like if you bought the kit that I have here with the 50 millimeter drivers, you're looking at about 150 bucks. So I'm hoping that they sound somewhere in between these two. If uh, they sound closer to the G or closer to the Sony's, that'll be even better. I got to put them together though. I don't imagine the assembly is very difficult. They do have a nice, um, walkthrough, assembly walkthrough on their YouTube page, which I'll link in the description below. But let's put it together, see how it sounds and see if 3D printed headphones can really be, you know, comparable to something you would just buy.
the build process is now completed. It was actually it's pretty easy given, you know, it's a set of headphones. I think the, the design for this is actually quite clever. It, it goes together really well, holds together well. I have all three of my headphones here and I'm gonna hook them up to my laptop. I don't have an EQ setting for either one of my normal headsets on the computer. The EQ is for my phone and this EQ setting is saved on this computer. So it should be relatively apples to apples. Uh, I'm just gonna play Spotify, listen to each one and see which one I think is the best. And go from there. I guess I haven't put them on yet. So I can see how these, remember how these ones feel. I do like those ones. All right, I actually haven't put this on my head yet. They feel like they seal pretty decently. So far, no complaints on the fit. They seem to squeeze pretty well. Yeah, seem pretty decent. Let's see how they sound. I'll start with my, my norms. A few moments later. Okay, I'll say this. Uh, I forgot how much heavy lifting my EQ settings are doing, but these are still the best sounding ones. I think we all seen that coming. Uh, they just sound cleaner. They got good bass, good mids, good highs. These are the best, but they're also the most expensive. Plus they have noise canceling, which kind of gives them a little bit of an edge in my opinion, because I can't really hear anything else other than the music. But these guys, this, uh, these are a lot better than I expected. I would actually say, Again, I don't have an EQ setting set up for these, nor these, I guess, I, I guess I'd say, but these actually sound better than the, the G935s. Uh, their bass is better. The mids and... Listening to headphones is very subjective, but in my opinion, the mids and the highs are pretty similar, but the bass is far better on these, and they, they sound good, and they, the fitment is very... It's very comfortable. It's very light on the head. The, the pressure on your ears, the squeezing force on your head is very nice. Uh, I just, I'm very impressed with these. And given the price point, I mean, what I say, these are like one, 120 something. Uh, this kit as is with the 50 millimeter drivers is 150 for, you know, all the parts that I have here, all the electronics, the model itself, all the files, these, this headband and everything like that. 150 bucks and you got a good, a good sounding headphone. You can custom make whatever color you want. I'm very, very surprised that these are as good as they are. I mean, just like you, I, you think 3D printed headphones, you're like, eh, are they gonna be like a toy? Are they gonna sound good? These do sound good. I will recommend these headphones at their price point given that they're just a little bit more than the G935s. Yes, they don't have RGB, which is a bummer, maybe in a future revision, but you get all the customization you want. You can print them out, which is kind of a talking point. People will be like, oh, what are the, why do those headphones look the way they do? And you'd be like, ah, they're 3D printed. And they sound incredibly good. Not to mention, you could just buy the, uh, the models and find your own drivers and electronics if you want to. But either way, the Anamame headphones from Vector, Vector Finesse are, in my opinion, very, very good. I do like them. I was surprised that they're better than the G935. If I, I, I'm gonna put a, a custom EQ on here and see exactly how much better they can get because if you've never done any messing around with EQ settings for your headphones, I would highly recommend it. It can really take something that sounds good and take it up a notch. Like I said, I forgot. I have a, an EQ setting saved in my phone for these headphones through their app and obviously using it on the computer, just Bluetooth in. It's not there and the difference is very noticeable. But again, out of the three, number one, I would say these are number two and my little G935s. I'm gonna keep using them for my gaming because I got the mic and I didn't and didn't install the mic mod. Maybe I will for these ones. So if you want to get yourself a set of NMMA headphones from Vector Fitness, I'll leave some links in the description below. Uh, go over there, print yourself some out, try them yourself. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Until next time.